I've spent over $500 for six net 30 accounts. $542.74 to be exact. After watching a bunch of people on YouTube, here's what I've learned and done so far. Oh, and subscribe if you want to see more business credit updates. These are the net 30 accounts I have. Granger, Ulon, Quill, Sumac Office Supplies, Strategic Network Solution, and Sh I mean, Shirtsy. I learned on YouTube that the first step to building business credit is to get five to seven net 30 accounts. So I got six, but no one told me how expensive it would be. Shoot, if I wasn't planning to buy a house soon, I would have just used my personal credit to get business credit. But we're here now, so let's talk about it. Your net 30 account is not like your credit card. The sooner you pay it off, the better. But before you apply to these net 30s, you need a few things. An EIN number, I went through LegalZoom, which was expensive, but they set up my LLC and EIN number. You need the EIN because some net 30 accounts ask for your EIN number. You also need a DUNS number, which takes five minutes to get and is free. Every company I mention is in the description. You also need a business phone number, separate from your personal number. And I think that's it. So the first net 30 account, Granger. You have to call the number and ask for a net 30 account. Granger gave me a thousand dollar line of credit. Now Granger reports to Dun & Bradstreet, so what I bought from them was some damn moving boxes because I'm moving soon. I spent $55.59 on moving boxes. You're kidding, right? <laughs> yup, I'm already annoyed. Granger sells a bunch of stuff that I couldn't use. But if you need a new office chair, AC, or a safe to put no money in, well, go for it. I honestly thought about buying these handcuffs for some bedroom fun, but that's too much information. Well, at least for this channel it is. The next net 30 I applied to was Uline. Now, Uline has a whole bunch of stuff, but a whole bunch of nothing at the same time. I ended up buying some gloves for the gym and this table tennis, which I think my kids will enjoy. And if they don't well, I'ma get drunk and me and your mom gonna play it. What? Did I say your mom? I meant they mom, my wife. Don't, don't be like that. Yo, I was joking, yo. Honestly, you know I can't say no to your moms. After taxes and shipping, the gloves and tennis thing came up to $72.06. Uline told me my account was so new, they haven't determined how much credit they want to give me. So basically, they don't trust me, assholes. They told me they will determine my limit by the amount of money I spend on the first five orders. So... If you're placing small orders, you may get a small line of credit. Also, Uline reports to Dun & Bradstreet. The next net 30 account I got was Suma Office Supplies. Now, Suma Office Supplies will approve you, but they don't start reporting until you pay. Just buy something over $75 and pay the invoice. The person over the phone said they report at the end of the month. So if you're lucky like me, Today is the 29th. The lady over the phone said they report to Experion if you have Tier 1. And you can apply for Tier 2 if you already have business credit. Tier 2 reports to Dun & Bradstreet, which is really what you want. So for you to get to Tier 2, they look at your business credit for the last 6 months. And you guys know I just started getting credit. So I have to wait for that. But if you already have credit, go ahead and apply. My affiliate link is in the description. Hello. They start you with $2,000 and your credit line increases by $500 with each additional purchase you make. I bought this Net30 ebook which cost $80 fucking dollars. And you can only get ebooks with your line of credit and it's a bunch of stuff you'll probably never read. Honestly, I think they're really in the business of getting new businesses to buy from them to get business credit. But I can't knock their hustle. The next Net30 account I got was Shitty. I mean Shirtsy. Shirtsy reports to Experion, Equifax, and Dun & Bradstreet. But you have to pay $100 annually just to use their service. To me, that's fucking ridiculous. 
I'm really cheap, so it took me two weeks to decide to apply. Especially because after you spend $100 to get the line of credit, then you have to go back and spend an extra $30 just to get them to report it. But wait, it gets worse. That's $130, not including shipping and taxes. Once you add that, it cost me $147. So they have me on a $2,810 trade line, but you can only spend $400 for some weird reason. So if you need to build credit, I left an affiliate link in the description. So at least you know some of that money is coming to your new broke best friend, me. Oh, and the prices are fucking ridiculous. Don't use them to start a merch store. $50 for a hoodie is your cost. What am I going to do? Sell this to you guys for $70? That makes no sense. After taxes and shipping, you paying $100 for a hoodie? That's not going to happen. On Teespring, which is what I use for my merch store, they sell their hoodies to me for $20. And I sell them to you for $40. And with shipping and taxes, you're probably paying around $50. And on top of that, you're supporting my broke ass at the same time. Now, with Shirtsy, after taxes and shipping, I spent almost $50 on a t-shirt. And it ain't Ralph. It, it ain't, ain't Ralph level. level. It ain't Ralph. The hoodie would have been $65 to $70. So if you want to start a merch business, I talk about that in this video. Use Shirtsy to get your business credit and then move on. I'm going to use them for about a year and they can fuck off after that. Anyways, the next Net30 account I got was Strategic Network Solution. Honestly, it's the same company as Suma Office Supplies. The phone number is almost identical, except for the last number. They even advise Suma Office on their website. Check this out. This reads, establish another tier one net 30 trade line account. Go to Suma Office Supplies. They're even selling the same shitty products. I got the same $2,000 line of credit. The small difference is tier one reports to credit safe and not Experion like Suma. And tier two reports to Dun & Bradstreet. Honestly, this is a great business model that I may look into in the future because how can they lose? You pay them $80 for a PDF because your item has to be over $75 for Strategic Network Solution to report as well. And if you don't pay, you destroy your business credit before you even start it. And if you do pay for both websites, well, they just made a quick $160 off me. So my affiliate link is in the description. And please, it costs you nothing extra to use my link. That way, I can keep the internet on in this bitch. The last Net30 account I have is one of my favorites, and the only one I didn't feel was ripping me off, which was Quill. Staples is the parent company of Quill, so when my package came, the driver was in a Staples truck. So basically, you can get whatever you want on Quill that you see in the Staples store. I will most likely continue to use Quill, because what I bought from them was trash bags, packing tape, paper towels, dish detergent, things you actually need around the house. Now, you have to spend $100 for the invoice option to show up, but that should be easy since they have everything a staple store has. Quill reports to Dun & Bradstreet, which is great, and they gave me a credit limit of $500, so I spent $542.74 for six net 30 accounts. Now, I'm gonna wait three months and then I'll start applying to get gas cards. So subscribe so you can see when I post this video. And if it's already been three months, that video will probably be in the description, along with those affiliate links you promised your new broke best friend you would use. I'm out.